your mind. Flawless victory. Test your mind. All right, on blast gamers. We are back with the uh, tutorial grind. So now we're uh, getting into cameo combos. So the reason why, I mean, just to recap, why we're trying to do this before we start the story, I just want to know all the um, all the gameplay elements. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we could like. Technically, we already did the basic tutorial. We have an idea how the game works. We could basically just go right into the story and then revisit this before we start playing online. But for me, I, I kind of want to get through this now because I kind of want to like really have an in-depth knowledge of the game, the system, the mechanics. So while we are playing the story, we could actually brush up and kind of like master some of these new functions and tools. But, um, I mean, so far the game, we learned a lot. The game's fucking amazing. Just to, like, really, just to really, like, sit there and just, like, take in the game. The game's beautiful. So, yeah, right now we're doing cameo combos. This is the this is the part of the tutorial we're at. Um, your team will be more effective when both characters work together. Use cameo summon attacks to create combo opportunities for your lead character. So now we're getting to a little more of the uh, advanced gameplay and of advanced elements of what this game introduces. Especially with this like cameo tag system. So we're gonna use Frost, Frost's ice carpet to stun the opponent, then perform an attack with Raiden for a combo. All right, so Frost basically, like, we could actually be mid-combo and bring her out just to freeze him. Right? Ah. Oh, that's a little, like a little stun, right? But I can't bring her out when he's doing a special attack. Alright, let's keep on moving. I don't want to... The thing is, we spend so much time on this because we just start exploring combos. You know, and it's great. It's a great way to learn. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, he does like a triple fucking roundhouse sweep, right? That's a nice little combo. All 
All right, stun the opponent. What are, what are the combos we got here? Okay, we got a. Uh... So frost is definitely a good option for like a. Uh... For a tag, right? All right, the extended range of Raiden's electric fly lets him combo from Frost's ice carpet at an attack distance. So let's see, we got that. No. Oh, all right. Does he have the air version? Oh, and he comes down, what? That's legit. Both team members can act independently after a cameo summon is finished, creating the new combo opportunities. Frost's partner can hit the opponent immediately after Snowflake hits to create a combo. Alright. What the fuck is Snowflake? Hit the opponent with Frost's Snowflakes, then attack with Raiden to extend the combo. Okay. Like a mini spirit bomb. That's a cool, uh, that's a cool thing, though. Oh, yeah? Talking shit, Raiden? So we could do uh now let's go. Alright, so we got another uh, combo after Frost's Snowflake. It's a little uh forward back punch, back punch, back kick action. Whoa! Oh! Alright, so he still has his uppercut. That combo. So that combo's with the... With the file. That's a nice little cancel. That's a... That's a cancel, uh... Cancel the low back... Back kick. Into the fireball. Let's do it. Experiment with different teams of characters to find unique combo opportunities. That will be the uh, the meta in the game, right? Just all the uh, character combinations, different different types of uh, synergy. Oh, it's a nice little uh, nice little launcher combo there. Oh, the snowflake still follows.
That front kick is so weird. Like it almost doesn't connect, right? I fucked up. I fucked up. Ah. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, that's cool. That's all three hit right there. Wait, she has a lot of um She has a lot of different uh So do they all have four I guess? I thought they all had three um cameos but Why do I keep on summoning her? Am I a fucking moron? That's a nice setup. That was sick. That was sick. So I could probably do... And then freeze, right? Alright, let's move on. 
I'll just fucking stay here all night. I'm telling you, man, this game's... This game is something. Where you could just stay in training mode all night and just fucking play it. Ashra. Who the hell is this? If you execute a special move as soon as a basic attack hits, you will end the basic attack early and start the special move immediately. This technique is known as a special move cancel. Alright. So yeah, it's basically canceling a basic into a special. Nothing new here. Oh, little fucking Street Fighter shit right there? A little uh, dragon uppercut? Is that what we got, Ashra? Or maybe Samurai Showdown, right? Oh, she feels... she feels sick. Oh, she got a few cancels. Oh yeah, she's fucking, she's legit. Oh, we got, she got Cyrax? Let's fucking go. Trying to see if I can enhance that. That wasn't enhanced. Can I enhance the, uh, the DP? Let's see what she does with the enhanced DP. Damn! The blood that she spills. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking her, man. I mean, remember, we used to play, um, we used to play Scarlet and Mortal Kombat 11, so. And we don't got Scarlet in this game, so we're looking for a main. And this right here? Woo! She's feeling sexy as fuck. Alright, let's keep it moving. This technique is known as a special move cancel because the end of your basic attack is cut shorter or cancelled. Now perform a special cancel with, a, with proper timing. Remember that you don't have to wait for the basic attack to finish before you start inputting your special move. Nope. You, you fucking bring that out right, right there. You fucking burn that shit. You pre-low that, baby. What are her attacks? Hell's Pillar. Let's see that shit. Is that it? Summon in the Darkness. I think that's... That's it right there. I guess it gives it like a buff or something. If I would have to like guess. Oh, okay, so... Alright, so she, when she has lightness, or the the light power, or not the shadow power, she does the regular, I guess, projectile. And then when you bring the shadow into it, 
She does like a Geese Howard fucking projectile. Very interesting character. A cancel causes your special move to hit the opponent much earlier than if you have if you had waited for the basic attack to finish normally, allowing moves to form a combo that otherwise cannot. Oh, that's a nice one. So I gotta be like a little far away on this one, right? Yeah, because if I'm too close, I go, I dash right through. Wait, no. Why was it doing it before? Let me do the shadow version. What's that? Oh, so with the shadow, I just go, I don't even attack. I don't know why that doesn't come out as fluent. Oh, so if I hold it, I go... I dash longer. So what are the benefits of the light version? Because with the light version I could also... Can I go through? Yeah, I could, but... That's not the purpose of it, I guess. The purpose of it is to land the attack. Trying to get, I'm trying to get it down a little bit more, because I I do miss the input sometimes. Like the input window is a little short on this one, so I'm trying to hit it like really quick on a consecutive basis. I don't know how I missed that. If you frequently cancel at the wrong time or into the wrong move, try turning off release check in the controls menu. Input and special moves will be a little less forgiven, but much more precise. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's the release fucking time. Check it out. If I do it better.
I don't I don't get what it's trying to do. Oh again, I was fucking with the wrong button, that's why. See, I don't have a problem doing those cancels, but... Damn. Got him. So that caused, like, a stun, right? Yeah, it's definitely like a stun right there. Alright. She's definitely interesting. I'm definitely gonna like really think about maining her or something. Or at worst, like definitely playing with her. Because she's she's fun as fuck. Special move cancel after the last attack in a combo attack string to build. Well, special move cancel after the last attack in a in a combo attack string to build longer, more damaging combo. So, I guess just let's see what they're trying to say here. So I could cancel it on this side pretty good, but. When it comes to this side for some reason, it's not always 100% accurate. So now it's getting a little better at least. Maybe turn off the negative edge helped a little bit. So we got a... Uh... Demon's Wrath, huh?
I was trying to see if I could attach that. Oh, maybe I could. three attacks let's see execute a two com two hit combo attack string then special move cancel into ascension alrighty so ascension is the dragon punch Yeah, that's sick. Fucking hits him, knees him right in the fucking midsection, hits him in the back of the head with the fucking base of the sword, and then a full out dragon punch. Wake the fuck up. Alright, move on to the next one. Alright, that's it for uh, Yo, Ashra. So far, man, I mean, we played Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Raiden, and Ashra, and so far, all of them feel fucking just awesome. Like, that's just telling me that the whole game, like, all the characters are viable and really feel fucking good. You can perform an aerial hit combo attack during a jump if you hit an opponent that is also airborne. So we were kind of messing around with this a little bit. So I guess they're going to explain a little more of it. That was jump forward, front punch into back punch. We were messing around with this earlier, um, where we were hitting, you know, with Sub-Zero, like the, the juggle head. I think also Raiden had one, right? Or was it Sub... No, I think Raiden. I don't think Scorpion had a, uh, an, a move that he kind of like slammed the opponent for a juggle combo. I could be wrong though. All right, some attacks will launch the opponent high into the air, creating an opportunity to juggle the opponent with an aerial combo attack. Also known as a launcher from the Marvelous Capcom series. Oh no, Scorpion does have a fucking his his um air back kick. Launches them down. We could um probably do the uh the fucking spear. Oh, who's Serena? Let's see Serena. Oh, Serena's on some shit. I can't even see her. She's like a she devil. All right, let's do another launcher. And that's just, oh, even his fucking, um, even his front punch, um, air combo attack launches him down for a juggle, possible juggle. Sick. Scorpion, man. Scorpion got those moves. Scorpion got those fucking moves, man. Alright, so launch the opponent, then juggle them into the, into the, Juggle them with an air combo string. All right, so let's uh, let's get his. This is the chain one, right? Or I thought it was. Wait, does that juggle him for a? Uh, 
Air throw? So it's, um... Forward front kick into the back punch. Yeah, it's like an ear throw. I just gotta get him. I'm just not... Maybe I'm not doing it... Maybe I have to do it sooner? Or maybe wait, hold off a little bit? No. Oh, okay, so it's gotta be like... As soon as I hit that fucking air back punch, initiate that. Alright, that's that's legit. I didn't fuck around with that. I didn't discover that, so... That's a cool thing to learn. You can special cancel most airborne attacks into airborne special moves. Oh, shit. He does, like, a spear attack in the air now? Oh, Scorpion, you just impress every time. Yeah, that's legit. Do that grab attack. Oh, there it is. All right, perform a jump in, perform a jump in kick, then special cancel into airborne flame port. <laughs> 